Hello there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing the farm life again. So this is, um, I think this is the 12th episode of the farm life let's play. And today I've got a few things that I really want to get done. In the last few episodes we have met a new um, guy and um, she um, had sort of like a date but it wasn't really a date, it was like a party. We had a party last episode and um, we've also been doing like a lot of renovations on the house recently. Um, so I want to show you guys some that I've done like in the meantime between this episode and like the last episode. I have been working on like the bathroom and everything and um, the upstairs of the house is really coming on now so I want to show you guys that and we're also going to be trying to go on another date with Romeo and as well as that um, I've got something to show you guys if you haven't seen it already so we're going to have a look at that in a second but yeah first of all I'm going to go straight in to looking at um, the house so um, you guys will have seen the bottom of the house it's looking um, all right <laughs> i'll say all right i don't know how i feel about it at the moment so we'll see um with that but um yeah i've been working on the top floor so i'm um, on the top floor um i did a few little things in the bedroom i did these pillows onto the bed we added a vanity unit um there just seems to be a lot of space in this room and i'm not entirely sure what to do with all the space <laughs> so if you guys have any suggestions of what i can put in these spaces i didn't know whether to make this like a bathroom like an ensuite there wasn't really that sure because of how much space like there is you know this is a massive room it could actually be two rooms very easily um so if you guys have any suggestions i would love to hear them also i have been working on the hallway so again this isn't um there's a lot of space here i'm going to find some clutter items to fill this shelving unit up um in the meantime but we were running out of money we've only got 3115 simoleons so i didn't want to spend all of our money on doing the reservations at the moment um, I just wanted to get it into like a nicer standard then it wasn't just plaster like these rooms are um, and we've done like the um, wallpapering and the uh, rug and like the floors and like these key little doors and then the other thing we have um, got now is this little bathroom so I did this key little bathroom um, just just yeah just like something to um, so that they can have like an actual place to go that's got facilities um so here we go and um yeah it's very small i'm probably thinking what we're going to do with the upstairs is i'm going to have maybe two other bedrooms and maybe maybe three i might make them all bedrooms and then we might put an on the suite here but we'll have to see so we've got two bathrooms in that build i don't think we've got a downstairs one no and i still haven't had a chance to do this basement so i've got to do that at some point as well um but yeah i think the house is really coming on i really like how it's looking i like how we've got you know um the bedroom all set up and the bathroom and everything so i wanted to show you guys that really quickly before we started doing anything um it's a horrible day here on the farm in brindleton bay it is um very dark for 11 a.m on a saturday and it's raining now um so the weather is awful it's actually going to go into the winter soon we're on the seventh day of fall um so that's kind of it's a little bit depressing but um as soon as the i don't really like the winter in this game it kind of makes me feel sad like i know it snows and that but that, and that's cool but and the fall and the winter i just love the summer i just love the summer so like i, I think i've mentioned before i'm not really like a big fan of seasons and that's for the, that's the reason why um it's just because i, I like it to be warm all the time um but yeah anyway so i wanted to show you guys um if you didn't see my video the other day um we also have this f horse called farassi now and with farassi we can feed him pet him and we can ride him around like a horse so i want to um <laughs> it does say ride bike around but i wanted to get octavia riding farassi a little bit um just so um she can get like um i don't know it doesn't give you a horse riding skill it gives you the fitness skill but I thought it'd be cool to just imagine that like she is um, trying out horse riding for the first sort of time like she's never really ridden a horse before so um, I thought that would be really cool so I'm going to press it again because for some reason she hasn't it hasn't registered oh she doesn't want to do it why not I think this is locked actually um, if we just go into the barn maybe it'll be a little bit easier to try that out so 
we'll do that. Um, and then, yeah, we can take her for a ride. Oh, is it locked? Come on, horse. I can't walk into it. That seems to be the issue. Let's try again. Um, and, okay, for some reason it's not letting us do it. We might have to bring him out of the agile stable. Um, I don't really know why that is. We're just going to put him outside and then um, she can have a little go riding him. You guys, um, if you subscribe to my channel, have probably already seen um, the entire review for this mod. But I just wanted to incorporate it into the Let's Play a little bit and just have a give it a go. Give it a go having a little bit of a horse ride and see how she gets on. So here he goes. Um, Farasi is having a little bit of a ride and um, she is just getting to grips with horse riding. Um, we have just in my imagination because we don't already have horses in the game we have these poseable horses here and I just think you know it adds a little bit of life to the barn like having these poseable horses we also have the fake pigs over here as well and those just if you um that's just to give the barn some life you know to make it look a little bit um just more full I suppose um, if you guys haven't seen my videos before and you want to install those mods there's a whole video on my channel that talks about those mods um, this is called there's two videos actually and they're both about farming mods if you guys want to try this out yourself but yeah we're just going for a little gallop on the beach and it's gonna be nice to get out and get some exercise because I don't think she has much of a fitness skill no she doesn't just get a little bit of exercise and just um, get some fresh air a little bit of time for her to clear her head and be away from everyone she's had a lot going on recently um, the farm's coming on really well but in her like personal life she's had a lot of stuff going on and I just think that it'd be nice to kind of um, just yeah just for her to do something to just clear her mind so she's riding for us around the beach nobody's like even taking notice I actually love this mod I know how like jittery it is and like the animation is not smooth by far but I just think it's really cool and a really nice idea to have um, kind of like the just, just the feel of it basically I really really miss horses I can see why they've been taken out of the game um, I think that they were a bit buggy in Sims 3 but it'd be nice to one day think we might get them back so we will see because there's a few packs coming out soon hopefully might, one of them might be something to do with horses or farming or something along those lines that'd be cool but yeah so she's as, yeah she's having a little bit of a ride and what we're actually going to do is um, try and organise a date on the phone in a minute for her and Romeo to go to like a restaurant or something and get to know each other a little bit better um, because that what they they kind of interacted a bit but and they seem to have like a lot of chemistry but um, I think it'd be nice to get them on more of a proper date more of a romantic scene uh, I don't know whether it was kind of like a friendly sort of um, talk that they had but we will see. So she's actually scaling this little cliff, which is quite brave. Uh, she's doing very well with her horse riding. Um, to be honest, she is. I'm pretty proud of her. She's doing very good, and she's getting energised. It's almost like she's going for a jog, but on the horse. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're gonna. She's actually going close to somebody else's house. That's kind of a little bit too close for comfort. Oh, <laughs> she's like right next to the windows, just riding past. Um, but yeah, so we're going to um, yeah, organise that date and then we can see where we go from there because I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go. I'm hoping it's going to go well because I'm really hoping she's at that point in her life now where her farmer's market is doing good. I think she's got, can we check that? Uh, I don't know how to, how to have a look. That was weird. I just got a thousand simoleons. Oh, okay. I don't know what just happened. I just clicked it and again, me a thousand simoleons. Is that some probably one of my mods that I've got? Okay, that's really interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if we anyway, if we check this, okay. So the farmers market is doing good. Um, next episode, what I'm planning on doing for that is a renovation of the farmers market. Um and just making it look more of like a place that people can hang out rather than just a few stores and stuff so um, hopefully we can do that 
and now we're just gonna try and organize that day she's been riding around most of the day just having some time to herself just to reflect so we can ask Romeo on a date now and we can see how that's gonna go I'm thinking of going to somewhere kind of like I'm not sure whether to go to a club or a restaurant I don't really not really that sure at the moment but um, we'll see what when the vlogs come up where we should go so it's taking a while to load <laughs> the loading times I've had to turn my reshade off guys because the loading times were really affected by my reshade so this is just a no well I think it's actually urban urban sims um, Leo or something like that which makes it a bit uh, it, it's not as intense on the game It's easier to play with so we're gonna go hmm I want to go somewhere that's quite uh, I'm not sure whether to go to a cafe or let me think. So, where I'm trying to think what lots are here. We could go to the pool, but then it's not a nice day. We could go to the nightclub, but it's just I don't know whether that's a good place to go for the day. I'm not really sure. Um, we could go to the skating rink, but that's where I tend to go for everything. We might just have to go to McDonald's. We might just have to set off McDonald's and just just do a McDonald's day. I mean, you can't really go wrong with McDonald's. So, we're just going to head over there, um have a cheap little date, have a little bit of a restaurant date and see how things go between them. I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes. Like I said, I really really like I'd really like to her to start thinking about settling down, getting married, having a family. I really really want there to be kids. I love to have kids in my gameplay. When I do my own gameplays, like when I play on my own, most of my sims have kids really soon or I start pre-made families. I just love family gameplay in general. So I'm really, really excited to kind of start playing with a family. So that's where I want to be and it would be really exciting to see a family on the farm. It'd be so cool like to have kids running about. We've got to renovate the garden a little bit and we've got to do the bedrooms. But I've got some really, really cute CC to do the bedroom with and I'm really excited to use it. Okay, so we need to request the table. Um, if we go to, let's see, we go here and request the table and then we can socialise with Romeo and hopefully, um, he's going straight into the kitchen, I don't know what he's doing, he's gone straight into the kitchen, he's going to the computer, they've got a little computer in the kitchen, fair enough. So if we do that and we, we can choose a table, I think, let's choose a little two table, like maybe in this window, we can just sit together and we can socialize so where's he gone he's, he's coming now i think i don't know where he's oh there he is he's, he's there so this is the first time he's sort of um interacted with um octavia not in a hot dog suit because <laughs> at the party uh she was in a hot dog suit so that's the last time we saw each other so larry let's socialize um we're gonna just Ask him about his day, ask him what he's been doing. Where's she going? Why is she standing up? She's standing up to talk to him. That doesn't really make sense. So we're sitting down. Okay, whatever. So we can have a little bit of deep conversation. She's going to just explain like what she's been doing with her life. You know, She's going to talk more about the farm and more about like how she's been doing it up and how it's really given her like a nice outlook on life. Um, in... Where well, are we? In Oasis Springs. I think that it's very hot, to be honest. Um, we can. She can express her admiration. She say she thinks he's quite like a nice person. From what she's seen so far, he seems very down to earth, um, which is a very nice trait to have com compared to this other guy that she was seeing before. We're going to do um, a little order for our table. And we're going to decide what we want as well. I think they've had enough time to decide what food they want to get. Um, and then they can socialise about their meal as well, which will help with the day, it will help the diet go well. So I think we're going to get... Uh, this is the thing with the McDonald's restaurant, it upsets me a little bit because the food just isn't McDonald's food. It just doesn't make sense, there's like fish and stuff and beans, like this isn't McDonald's food. That's fine though, we're just going to order french fries, um, we might both just get french fries. Um, and we might just get a, a drink of like orange juice or something. Um, and then that's that oh, won't be that, that expensive it'll be quite cheap what's he doing to her he's doing like a weird like movement towards her that's so strange okay 
we're waiting to place the order. Hopefully that they come fast because if you guys have watched my videos before. I think that she's actually been here with her dad and it took absolutely forever for them to order anything. It took so long. It was so frustrating. So um, hopefully it doesn't take too long for our order be to be taken and they can sit and have a nice meal together and just get to her to do a little bit better. She's already seeming quite flirty and or, like very interested in him, which is quite um, cool. So let's have a look. Uh, wait for the order to be delivered, wait for the order to be placed. So we're gonna, we've ordered our food, we're just gonna wait for it to come. So we can just do some more socializing while we wait. Um, I'm just gonna throw a few interactions in there. I'm just gonna say like, she's asking more about him, more about like his career what he likes to do, what his skills are, he's unemployed, okay, but I think he's gonna say like he's really admiring the fact of um, uh, doing the farm up and he actually really wants that lifestyle as well, like he seems the kind of guy that would enjoy a more laid back kind of lifestyle that she has. Um, not laid back but you know she doesn't have the distractions of modern society she's off the grid at the moment um, she doesn't have a phone that she really uses and the computer doesn't work and the TV and obviously like later on like I've said we're going to get that stuff working again but that was when I fully renovate the house so at the moment none of that stuff works she just has to occupy herself with building her skills and I think that's really good for her to get like her skills up but we've got our fries our fries and orange juice have arrived so we can um, eat that for fries and just talk while they're eating and um, yeah I just think it'd be really nice for her to have someone to share that lifestyle with because it's quite hard to live like that sort of lifestyle and not that I have in any slight way but um, if you guys don't actually know about me um, me and my husband actually thought um, it would be really a nice idea to get rid of our smartphones for what amounted to like two years nearly um the only reason he we've got them now is because he had to start a new job and he had to use a smartphone um, for his job so we ended up both having one but we both got rid of our smartphones for a long time and went back to a brick phone and so all we could do is like call and text on it and i thought that was really it's really eye-opening to take a step back we didn't have any social media or anything and it was a really nice time of like um you haven't got any distractions i think a big distraction distraction is your phone and i think this is really reflected onto octavia i think that she isn't using like her technology and she's having just some time to just think about herself we've said before she was quite a um self-absorbed person before she moved onto the farm and she was quite uh spoiled by her family a lot of her family did things for her and she had most things handed to her and to have to work for things and just to live this different lifestyle has actually really improved her as a person i feel like she's really changed as a person obviously um you guys didn't really we didn't really see much of her before she was on the farm so um but just in my mind that's the person that i feel like she is and I feel like she's really changed and become very just more yeah more down to earth and more rooted and more like ready to commit to things and be a better person basically so yeah I just wanted to say that with you share that with you guys but um yeah I think the date's going really well um they are sort of socializing about um the meal I don't actually know if there's an interaction to talk about the meal in general he hasn't even eaten his french fries he just left them out there um so she's gonna we need, gonna need to run to the toilet now because otherwise we're gonna have an accident so which one is the male okay that's the male so we're gonna go into here just send her to the toilet so she doesn't have an accident can't find the toilet oh there it is okay so we can do that and i just think that it's gone very well in the social point of view they've had a nice real nice chat we're on the silver thing i don't really know how to socialize about the meal so um if we can just i'm just gonna check quickly on the interactions uh socialize anything about the meal talk about cooking no i can't find an interaction to talk about the meal they've had so it doesn't really matter we have done all right in terms of our goals for the day but i think that they've really got on she's feeling flirty hot dinner date um 
Octavia's favourite sim ever. Everything's wonderful. She's actually really getting on with this guy. They really seem to have natural chemistry. And that's that's just really cool. Like that that's this is happening for her. I was a bit like um cautious to do um another sort of like introduce another character to be her partner so soon, you know. But I feel like they really do get on naturally. She hasn't really got any friends. That's the next thing we're gonna work towards. I keep saying it but we wanna get some friends. We're gonna get some like um we're gonna make her have more of like she seems very alone on the farm basically, so I wanna get her some more friends. But yeah, I think that this has gone really well. We seem to have got the friend friend bar seems to have gone quite up. But she's definitely it's marking up as a romantic interest, so there's definitely something there. And obviously we're gonna have to just see how this goes over time, but I can definitely see them getting married. <laughs> That's such a suit, like a presumptuous thing to say, but I'm really, really pleased with how this has gone, and I really like them as a couple. Uh -huh. I just think they're really cute. So I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. It's been longer than I usually film for, so um, I'm gonna leave this here, guys. If you guys like this episode, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up, and just let me know what you think in general. I love to read all you guys' comments and always try and reply to all of them because I just love talking to you guys as well. Um, if you guys are here for the first time, then make sure you check out the playlist, which has all of the videos so far for the farm life, uh, let's play, and everything that you need to know about Octavia and all the things we've done so far are on that playlist. And I'm really just excited to continue this series. I'm loving doing this series and it's my favourite series by far. It just really it's really fun to play and really fun to explore these mods and explore her as a person. So yeah, I really, really am enjoying it. But if you guys yeah, if you guys like this, thumbs up please. <laughs> if you don't like this, thumb down, but that's up to you, you know. Um so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.